round out uh, section of Kingston is going to be very, very positive. It's going to be something that's going to bring in a, a lot of people here. It's going to be stimulation, stimulating of the economy uh, in this part of the city. And I'm very happy about it. I'm happy about it because I've been working on this for, for years. But I'm even more happy about it because I love this roundup. And I, uh, I love to represent the city of Kingston. It's one of the most marvelous places in the, the country of the United States, historically and temporarily. So um, we're, we're going to continue this project, by the way. And over the course of the next couple of years, my anticipation is that we're going to be able to get enough funding to move this walkway all the way out to the Hudson River. So that is going to be a major step forward and something that, again, is going to be very positive for, uh, for Kingston and uh, all of the businesses here, particularly the restaurants and others along the round. But May, yeah. the reason I know it's working is because there was an article in the USA about a week ago, the top 10 river streams to visit in the United States, and Kingston was listed as one of the top 10. Yes. So this is working, and the city is doing the job to make this waterfront one of the best in the country, like you said. Thank no, you. No question about it. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to follow up on that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you can guess what you've got to Let's, let's begin that's the question, and then he'll follow up on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. 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 well, I, what you say, of what course, is center? absolutely true. And uh, we, we know that uh, based upon the attention that it's been getting in the press and elsewhere. elsewhere. But we also know it based upon the, the boats that are here. If you look out on the round down here, a few years ago, yeah. there were no yeah. boats. There was no one who was coming in. But what we've been able to do over the course of the last few years on the other improve end of the circumstances here has brought in a lot of people. Go back, and right, all of that attention is yeah. now widening. And that attention is spreading out across the, across the country. Sure. And spreading out for a lot number of reasons, and particularly for what you just said. That uh, the round out here in Kingston is one of the most beautiful waterways anywhere in the country and it's a place where people can come enjoy themselves have a great time and also go into some good restaurants and, uh, and get some get some good food and the atmosphere here is just marvelous we like to say it's becoming more of a destination amen absolutely that's some prior appointment so i'm here to welcome everyone of course you know for me you know i i uh I guess go back a little ways because I remember the way this area was way back when it was probably commercial light industrial so I mean this whole section of the uh, roundout has certainly uh, transformed to now being more of a recreational hopefully tourist destination and you know uh, it, it's hard for you know people that really are from here to, to really know I mean I grew up here I was a kid here so it was like um, no, no uh, Rhinecliff Bridge, it was very busy down here, crowded, uh, dilapidated buildings, slaughterhouses, uh, all kinds of industrial scrapyards, oil tanks. I mean, it was just our industrial section of the city. And over the years, it has been transformed to, you know, uh, pleasure boats, tourist cruise lines, restaurants. I mean, everything, bed and breakfasts, I mean, it just goes on and on, all the improvements, parking lots, I mean, just everything that, you know, attracts people to the Roundout. When I was a kid, I never came to the Roundout other than to maybe pick up the papers from my paper route at the uh, Freeman Building or uh, buy some sneakers or if I came down this area, I'd go way up to go swimming in the creek. So, I mean, it was, it was that type of area. It was just not very pleasant, not attractive. But it is actually our jewel of the city, and it's our most underutilized section of the city also. So we're, we're trying to increase it, and we're trying to bring, you know, uh, tourism here and everything. So, you know, we have a park, we have museums. I mean, we have so much more now that we never had. And a lot of that is because We've had this person that's really been with us. Of course, Steve Finkel, our uh, economic development person, has been very instrumental in working with uh, you know bringing business in here and, and trying to develop it and helping us with design standards and things like that. But the person that has really stood by the city in as many years of uh, being in political office, as first as an assemblyman and now as a congressman, 
is our best friend, especially when he brings the checks, is Maurice Senchi. And without him, and especially in these tough economic times, we would never, ever be able to do anything that we've done down here without uh, Maurice's um, input and help and getting us the grants. And we truly, truly appreciate it. So thank you very much, Maurice. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you, and I appreciate all the work that you've done, all the attention that you've posed on this, and I thank you very much for all the work that you do, which is very, very good. And we know that you've been doing it for uh, a good many years now. And the city has benefited uh, from that, uh, that work and the attention that you're paying. The needs to upgrade the circumstances here in this marvelous city. I mean, we, we have one of the most significant historical places in this country, in the city of, uh, of Kingston. And one of the aspects of that is this roundup. And there were times when this roundup was part of the most uh, effective transportation system that we had anywhere in uh, the country at that time. But then, as you were saying, there was uh, a period of time when the attention drifted away. It drifted away from the Hudson River because of pollution and contamination, and it drifted away from uh, streams like this, small rivers flowing out into, into the Hudson. But we've been able to bring it back. And we've been able to bring it back through the stabilization that you see here, all of the way in which this round out river border has been stabilized and, stabilized and strengthened over the course of the last number of years. We've been able to uh, bring in a significant amount of funding that initiated that way back then. And the results of that are so obvious. A few years ago, you could come down here and there were no boats here whatsoever. No one who would come in here. But now more and more people are coming here, and more and more people are coming here for a number of reasons, one of which is the recognition and realization that the Roundout is one of the most significant and attractive waterways anywhere in the country. And that in and of itself is remarkable. And that, of course, in and of itself is the main reason why we need to continue to work to get this really where it should be turned into what it what it really should be at its best and that's the project that we're engaged in and we have now been able to secure federal funding and the federal funding initially was 1.04 million dollars and now in the context of the uh, stimulus package we've been able to obtain another two hundred thousand dollars so we have one million two hundred and four thousand dollars of federal funding that is going into the construction of a walkway that is going to enable people to walk out along this roundhouse take a little bike ride along the roundhouse enjoy the scenery that they're seeing which is now so so much better than it has been in the, in the past and in addition to uh, that one million two hundred and four thousand of federal money state government has now stepped in with $350,000 that they are providing for this. The city of Kingston is providing $240,000 out of their own funding. So the final amount right now that is going to extend this about a mile and a half, I think, isn't it? Well, this, this portion is about a half a mile. Half a and mile. And then there's another. Another. Yeah. Okay. So about a half a mile through here and then, uh, then beyond that. That funding is now just under $2 million. And so this job is going to be done in a very nice way. It's going to be very attractive. It's going to be very solid and secure. And it's going to be something that is going to enhance very significantly the appearance of the round out and the circumstances along it. This project is going to be built down along the, uh, the several um, restaurants that are, that are here. And that, of course, I think is going to be very helpful to the economy. It's going to bring in more people and, and uh, more, uh, more work that's going to be, uh, be done there. Now, in addition to that...